The question that never seems to have a good answer, where do you want to eat? That's hard enough to answer when you're at home with restaurants you know and love right around the corner. But on vacation, it's almost impossible. That's why I put together a list of 10 amazing local restaurants and one terrible restaurant all close to the shows. I'm also going to save my must-visit restaurant until the end. But each and every one of these 10 promise an unforgettable dining experience you won't want to miss. I'm Chris with Branson's Best Shows, and we're going to start with the ever-popular Cakes and Creams. If you've ever driven down the strip after a show, you almost always see a line out the door of this locally owned hotspot. It's a 50s-style diner that will take you back. Over in the corner is a Wurlitzer jukebox playing your favorite hits from the 1950s. And you can even pick and play a song from the comfort of your booth. They have a wide selection of hamburgers, pizza, ice cream, and even funnel cakes. If you'd like to dine outside, they have a great outdoor seating where you can watch the aquarium fountain show that's across the street. They also added a video arcade area for the kids while you wait for your food. My family and I eat here quite often after the shows. I normally get a quick hamburger or chicken strip basket. If you're looking for more traditional sit-down experience, you might want to check out Florentina's Italian Restaurant. They have a great selection of Italian food with a charming atmosphere. They have chef-created recipes that you will truly enjoy. I always get their chicken marcella. It's amazing. They also have brick oven pizzas, baked pastas, and every meal starts with their delicious bread, along with their dipping sauce of Parmesan cheese, Italian seasoning, balsamic vinegar, and olive oil. Now, if you just have time to grab a drink, they also have a full bar. Now, a restaurant with a bit of spark is Flaming Margaritas. This successful restaurant is inspired by the welcoming villages of central Mexico, and is built on century-old traditions of hospitality, culture, and amazing food. Their specialty is, of course, a flaming margarita in many different flavors and comes in three sizes. They are a bit pricey, but they're definitely strong. You probably won't walk out of the restaurant if you have the large by yourself. I also recommend the brisket quesadillas, but all of the food is amazing and well presented. By the way, I will not disclose here if I've ever had their large margarita, but I do recommend you share it. Another thing you can share is the great time you'll have at our sponsor theater, the Americana Theater. You can see great shows like C.J. Newsom's classic country and comedy, Elvis' Story of a King, America's Top Country Hits, and Awesome 80s, all for half price using the promo code BBS on our website, americanatheaterbranson.com, or by calling the box office. Now for a fun and crazy time, you'll want to stop into Crazy Craig's Treehouse. This is definitely a fun and friendly atmosphere. When you hit the door, the staff welcomes you into the place with a loud, welcome to the treehouse. And within a moment, they are handing you a free shot of treehouse juice, one of their specialties, which is quite good. Now they mainly serve bar style food, including burgers and sandwiches, but some of the best I've ever had. They have good wings, but amazing cheese curds. We love visiting this place. They have a DJ or band many nights, which is fun, and they've started offering half price appetizers after 10 p.m. every night but Saturdays. If you do decide to go here, there are a few things you need to know. First, it's adults only after 10 p.m. It is family friendly before, and I feel very comfortable bringing my kids earlier, but the later crowd can be a bit more rowdy, so for the sake of everyone, they limit it to adults only after 10 p.m. If seafood is calling your name, you'll want to stop in at SS Dockside Cafe and Pub. They're locally known for their big burgers and great seafood. They serve everything from steaks to snow crabs with a robot that will deliver your food. Kids can pick up a toy from their treasure chest and they have a beautiful back patio as well as a great bar. I recommend you try their burnt ends. They were delicious. 
Now let me know in the comments below if you've tried any of these restaurants or if we missed one of your favorite brands and restaurants in this list. Now a restaurant you definitely don't want to miss is Local Flavor. They serve the best comfort food this side of the Mississippi. Everything from chicken fried steak to catfish, you will leave here stuffed. They have live music almost every night from 5 to 7 p.m. of some of the best pickers in the area. Now, not only is this restaurant locally owned, but family run as well, which adds to the down-home fill. They have a cute gift shop up front that looks like a country store to pick up different souvenirs. I really enjoy the chicken fried steak and the homemade onion rings. It keeps me coming back. Also, the owner, Michelle, has her own cooking YouTube channel, Local Flavor Branson. This next place will truly surprise you. Who knew that Branson would have great sushi? Well, you can get just that at the Waikito Japanese Sushi. I actually stumbled onto this restaurant when researching for this video on TripAdvisor. The reviews are out of this world, and then come to find out many of the employees at the Americana Theater will sneak off to get lunch here as well. So it's definitely a great choice. But if sushi isn't your thing, you will definitely want to check out Branson's number one place to get a burger, Billy Bob's Dairyland. My family and I started eating here when it was outdoor seating only and was located where Dick Clark's American Bandstand Theater now sits. They serve burgers, Frito pies, pork tenderloins, and a wide variety of desserts. This place is always busy and is my mom's absolute favorite place to eat. So say hi to her if you go there. Now, one important note, they do not take credit cards. It's cash or check only. So make sure to have a few extra bills in your wallet when you walk in. Now, a truly hidden gem is the pick and porch located in the back of the Branson Craft Mall. They serve a wide variety of food and have live music on a regular basis. I like their pulled pork sandwiches. Then you can peruse their hundreds of different booths for the perfect souvenir. Now, before I reveal the must visit restaurant, I want to warn you about a place you should probably avoid. The Chicken House has a fun curb appeal, but I'm afraid that's where the fun ends. The staff is very nice, but the consensus is that the food is barely passable and is way overpriced. As of the filming of this video, it is ranked 186 out of 190 restaurants on TripAdvisor. And the warnings from other guests are overwhelming. On the flip side, a place everyone should eat at least once in their life is Mel's Hard Luck Diner. This super popular restaurant is celebrating 30 years in Branson. This 1950s themed diner does have great food, but that's not all you get. The restaurant is the home of the singing server. These talented professional singers, songwriters, and musicians not only take your order, but will sing as you dine. Many have been or are currently in some of Branson's most popular productions, these are truly professional, award-winning entertainers. Mel's is also known for its large, delicious desserts and classic burgers. So come on and enjoy the experience. Their biggest dessert is called the Avalanche. It can feed up to 16 people and is really popular. I love going by and getting a hamburger and a chocolate shake when I get a chance. Great food and wonderful desserts and memories for a lifetime. Now, if you're hungry to learn even more about Branson, make sure to check out these videos. Also, remember to comment if you visited any of these restaurants or recommend a different restaurant. Thank you for liking and subscribing, and we'll see you on the next video.